My name is Pastor A.A. Tyler, the President of Grove Mission at Every Baptist Church. I'm so delighted to come before you today and share this short Bible study with you on today. Last week we talked about from pressure uh, to power. And today I just wanted to come to you today and talk about from pain to praise. Amen. Amen. We, we've gotten to the point as individuals and even as Christians where we want God to work everything out every time. We want, we want as, as less of trial and pain that, that will ever come our way. We want a minimum amount of kickback. But one thing we must, we, we must understand is that we're going to go through some pain. There's no way around it. There are some things that we just have to go through. And as Christians, we must learn to press our way through. So today, I just want to give you something to move you from your pain and to move you into your praise. Let's look at Psalms number 42 and 5. It says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Listen, there's one, there's three things I want to give you real quick here. And the first thing is, we all will have challenging circumstances. We're all going to have challenging circumstances. Listen to what he says. Why art thou cast down, O oh my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? In reality, we're not looking to go through pain. We're not looking to go through suffering. And, and when it does happen, uh, 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 we lay prostrate looking for God to terminate the pain at that present time. Sometimes God is not the right now God that we think he is. This, this means that many times in our lives, we're going to have to learn to deal with pain. No matter how spiritual, spiritual you are, no matter how much money you have, how many people you know as far as you being popular, we're going to have to go through some painful times. I've experienced some painful times, and I know that you have. So the first thing we must understand is that we're all going to be going to have to face challenging circumstances. Know that, and you're part of the way to get yourself from pain to praise. All right, listen. The second thing, confidence in the Creator. Oh, listen to what he said. He said, he said, why have I cast down all my soul and why art thou disquieted in me? He says, hope in God. We, we've come to the place where we know hope is confident expectation or firm assurance regarding things that are unclear. When God makes promises, they are translated into prophecies. People have a tendency, you and me, people have a tendency not to keep, out, keep their promises, making us skeptical of other people's promises. But here's what the Bible says in Numbers 23 and 19. It says, God is not a man that he should lie. So what are some of the promises of God? Can I just give you a couple things? That thing I started in you, he says, I promise you, I will perform. He says, weeping may endure for a night, but I promise you, joy will come in the morning time. God's promises have been proven. In other words, there's nothing we're going through that we can't find examples within the Bible that gives us a witness who can testify to us how God can handle our situations. Hey, Joe, come here, Joe. He tells us he's ready to testify that God will give us double for our trouble. Isaiah says it like this. He says that if you wait on the Lord, he'll renew your strength. Those are just some of the promises that God, that God gives us. And so we have to have hope in God. We have to have confidence in God. And finally, we have to choose to celebrate. When we understand that we're, we're going to have trials and tribulations, when we're going to have difficult circumstances and challenging circumstances, and, 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 and when we have that hope in God in the midst of those challenging circumstances, David says, listen, that should move us to praise. Listen to what he says. He says, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Wow. Anyone can speak well of God when everything is going well. But can we speak well of God when things are, are, are going south in our life? Things are not where we want it to be. Things are not where we think they should be. Can we praise God 
for what's on the other side of the pain? Can, can we praise God on the other side of the pain? See, on the other side of the pain is a promise, and then there's a revelation of that promise. We should praise God even though we don't have the breakthrough yet. Oh, my goodness. Did you say that I need to praise God in the midst of my pain? That's exactly what I said. Why? Because you're not praising God directly for the right now, but you're praising God for the future. It is the promise. It is the revelation. It is when God reveals his word to you that you will attain that breakthrough. breakthrough. So go ahead and praise him. And when we look at this word yet, it means the same time or nevertheless. We must praise God even though we are in the pain. Yet, says if God doesn't change my circumstances, nevertheless, meaning we go through praising him and we come out praising him. So in other words, even in the midst of what, what's going on in my life, I praise God. Even while I'm going through it. And then when I come out, I still continue to praise God. No, more, no matter what happens, we praise God. Because we know God has a reason for what we're going through. The Bible said, be not weary of well-doing. Here's the promise. You shall reap if you faint not. I will end this with the title of a song that we sing or we love to sing so often here at Pleasant Grove. Trouble don't last always. Said, may not come when you want, but he's always on time. Says, in times of trouble, he's a friend of mine. Storm clouds may rise in your life. I know he will be there. Listen, those are reassuring words that will move us from the pain that we're in to praise. And remember this. You do not have to be on the other side of the pain to praise God. So I'm telling somebody right now, you go ahead and you praise God as though it has already happened. Go ahead and praise God as though you have already received your breakthrough. Lift your hands up. Shout glory. Shout hallelujah. Shout thank you, Lord. And I'm here to tell you that God will fulfill his promises. God bless you. Once again, thank you for joining us for this delightful and short Bible study. And I pray that what I've said has enriched your life and has helped you. So I look forward to seeing you again and you seeing me on next week. God bless you. This is Pastor Todd of the Pleasant Road Missionary Baptist Church. Love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.